I want to welcome you all to Williamsburg for this simulated convention of states for the purpose of proposing amendments to the Constitution. Uh, I believe it's fitting that we are meeting here in Williamsburg, this seat of colonial government and a city that had so much influence on our Constitution, that, uh, the Constitution that we all took oaths to protect. The men and women of colonial times, which this city celebrates, rose to the occasion when circumstances called upon them to do so. And I pray that we here today and tomorrow will rise to the occasion as well, working with the millions of people all across our nation who want our federal government to operate within its constitutionally defined limits. In a little more than six weeks, the American people will choose a new president. People from across the political spectrum are frustrated with the current state of our politics and are hopeful that this new president will bring change to Washington. However, I would submit to you that the next president, no matter whom he or she is, will not be able to bring about the change that America needs and wants. Not because they don't want to, but because our Constitution does not give to one single person the power to make such sweeping change. The Constitution gives power to the people and to the states to make the changes that are necessary in our politics. And I believe it's time, in fact, I believe it's past time that we uh, as state leaders exercise the power that the Constitution gives to us to rein in the federal government and by proposing amendments to the Constitution rather than waiting on Washington to reform itself. What we seek to do today and tomorrow in this simulated convention of states is to show the American people that they need not fear using a tool that our Constitution gives us. To show the American people there's no need to wait for another election or for another president. The power and the ability to fix the problems that we face are in our hands. So let's rise to the occasion as so many generations of Americans have done before us when faced with challenging times. Despite the pessimism and anger that so many in our country feel, the true power in this country still rests with the people, and we the people can come together and do what's needed to be done. Thank you. Over and over from everybody I talked to, they were astounded by the performance of this body, by the statesmanship that they saw exhibited by this body, by the intelligence and the passion of the debate, the demeanor of every one of you in this room. You have proven beyond a shadow of a doubt to the country that the people of the United States of America are ready to hold the first Article 5 convention in the history of this country. I congratulate you, I salute you, and may God bless you. Thank you very much. <laughs>